Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another What If video continuing our little mini series I guess of replacing solar system objects with stars but today as requested by a lot of you guys I saw a lot of people like these ideas and said about these we're going to replace the furthest object in our solar system which is the goblin here we're going to replace it with Beetlejuice and see what sort of chaos we can get to go down so yeah without further ado guys we'll just get straight into this but yeah as well guys apologies for the lack of videos recently I've just been really busy and haven't had the time to um get one out which is um quite unfortunate so apologies for that but yeah without further ado we're just going to get straight into this so there's beetlejuice placed in the orbit of the goblin there so we're going to go ahead and click play we're going to see what happens and as we can see already this is going to get chaotic very very quickly so here we are I'm just going to go ahead and delete Mercury and Venus as well, because I reckon they'll get shot out just by playing the simulation fast. So we're going to go ahead and see what chaos this is going to rack up, because this is going to be absolute... Yeah, this is going to this is going to get very chaotic. We can already see. It looks like they're in a binary at the moment, but I don't think that's going to last as we um, keep going here. That's going to start pulling stuff away from the sun extremely quickly, as we can already see here. So, yeah, that's not looking too good for the solar system as the two stars get closer. That's going to destroy everything. I mean, a giant star like this with 11.6 suns of mass and an enormous size and massive um, luminosity. This this super giant is going to cause a lot of trouble. Looks like uh, Sedna and Planet Nine here are having some very close encounters. Looks like Planet Nine may just get completely tossed out here, but let's go ahead and go ahead back to these guys now, the inner solar system area. Oh god, that's that is just gonna destroy everything. It's taken a thousand years just to get close enough, actually, for that. But anyways, let's keep going here. So yeah, we can see here. I'm pretty sure Earth is already warmed up. Yeah, even at this distance, Earth is temperature. It's just got too much. The big star, even though it's uh, we're still actually appearing, it's actually very, very big now. But even at this distance, it is just dominating any temperature on Earth there. So that's uh, pretty crazy stuff. We're in the red zone of this star as well. But let's keep it rolling. Speed it up again. But we're going to see this thing is just going to shred apart all of the orbits orbiting the sun. As we can see, as the sun gets closer, all of the orbits are just being pulled away from the sun. And it looks like Beetlejuice is just going to engulf everything. Or just shoots it around, or maybe some of the stuff will be. Saturn's gone there, it's just been pulled in. Jupiter is hanging on to life right now around the sun. Oh, something else has gone in there, one of the asteroid belt objects. That is not good. Looks like the sun may have survived its encounter, though, but, I mean, look what it's done. It's just completely abolished our solar system. Got a few objects orbiting it now with very, very inclined orbits, as we can see here. Very eccentric inclined orbits. Jupiter's been completely shot out by the looks of it as well. Okay, let's see I'll keep it rolling now. We've got on trails. I mean, look at Jupiter's just gone. Still, Some stuff's still orbs in the sun. Let's, uh, where's Earth? How's Earth doing? There it is. Well, it's actually cooled down again. Look at that. The water's returned. Hey. So Earth's actually um, doing good now. It's glitching around, though, because we're playing it so fast. But maybe they'll survive. If they actually completely leave Beetlejuice and never return, maybe the Earth will actually survive. Uh, and the lot of the water will be there. Oh my god, this poor asteroid belt. Poor Hygieia here, just sitting on right next to that star. When that thing blows up, that's going to take it out. As we know, because this is a red supergiant right now. But Beetlejuice, we think, will explode any day. I mean, it's definitely ready to explode um, from what people think, I believe. So, yeah, Beetlejuice is just going to be really hectic. Anyways, orbits. So, it looks like the sun may actually return. Oh! Earth's been shot out now. Maybe that's because we were playing it too fast, but you can see a lot of the objects have just been tossed out. I mean, that's quite a lot of stuff there. Oh, the sun is actually got sun's actually got Sedna orbs in it now, but a lot closer distance. Look at that. So Sedna's actually been recaptured by the sun, as we can see. It's even getting some sunlight as well. There, all right. But yeah, this is just <laughs> this is absolute chaos. So let's keep going now. Let's uh, zoom out back to the big star. There we go. All right. Here we are. Right, so uh, keep this going now. So we're going to see... It's just going to pull all of the orbits back in orbit. I mean... Oh, we have a bit of a frozen game. It looks like it's going to crash on us. That's um, great. That's a um, very appreciated game. Um, I, I'm really glad you did that. That's very annoying. Let me just spam click, get out of this. Let's open up a new universe sandbox. That's, that's very annoying. I mean, seriously, why do you have to do that? It wasn't even that bad. Come on, man. That's just out of order. Close program. Yeah, get out of here. Close. Now, oh, that's that's very annoying. Okay, so we're in a new game now. Hopefully, um, it just cuts straight to the new game's window. It looks like it is. So, we just have to wait for this to open now. And then we'll do our second scenario. Because you pretty much saw there, when we placed it straight in, 
they just pulled each other together, both of the stars, and then Beetlejuice just completely ruined everything and shot stuff out, stuff started orbiting it. Oh, and everything's completely closed. But yeah, that's our first scenario. But now we're going to try auto-orbit. And we're going to see if we get anything different. Maybe the stars will just orbit at a very far distance, or maybe Beetlejuice is too large in mass, it will just pull them in anyway. So let's, um, let's see what it does. Or maybe the sun will just orbit it, and there won't even be a binary. The sun will just be too inferior. So we're going to go ahead and see... Um, what happens now once we get back into the darn game that's very annoying it has been crashing a lot um recently with videos like this it didn't used to do that so maybe my computer's just uh, starting to dial me or getting old i don't know i've been doing this for a long time now after all but anyways right so we are back so we're gonna head straight to the goblin over here and we're gonna go ahead and um place beetlejuice in but this time we're gonna auto orbit it so we need to wait for the many to load up because i don't want to get any more lag all right well come on where is it okay i have to look this way like without any of them in then where is it oh, i can never spot it i always use the colors to coordinate around the menu there it is right so yeah we're paused we're gonna go ahead and place that on top of that delete the goblin and this time we're gonna auto orbit with beetlejuice so there we go right now we're gonna see all it does so we're gonna click play like that and oh it looks like it'll give us the same sort of scenario yeah look, i'm clicking like we'll, yeah we'll click on beetlejuice again yeah, look, I'm, I'm spam clicking it. It's not, not doing anything. So, looks like no matter what you do, this star is too powerful. So, even if you just place it or just um, click all to orbit, it looks like you're both you're going to get the same scenario both times over. But, yeah, we'll do it again. Hopefully, it won't crash on us this time. Looks like Mercury's already been shot out. Stupid thing won't run quick enough there. And Venus as well. Those two are just troublemakers. But, anyways, we can see again it's pulling Planet 9 in here. So, yeah, we'll see if we get any different results this time around. So, yeah, Planet 9, Sedna, those guys again. Looks like the Earth's just been completely shot out. So, that's, that's really annoying. I hate how the game does that, where it just it just ruins it. Oh, but you can see there, same scenario again. It pulls the whole solar system in, and then it pulls all of the objects away from the sun, as you saw there. And then it's just going to shoot them all out in different directions. Some of them may continue to orbit, some of them may not, as you can see there. So we'll keep running it now. It looks like a lot of them got pulled out and just tossed around there. I mean, that's Neptune gone as well. Sedna, I mean, all it's orbiting now is Jupiter and the asteroid belt objects, I think. Is Mars in there? No, Mars is gone as well. So it's just asteroid belt and Jupiter objects now. But on another close encounter with Beetlejuice here, let's see um, if the, it will pull any more objects away. I mean, those two are extremely close there. I mean, look at that. So yeah, there they are. But yeah, looks like we're getting the same results again. So yeah, if you if you replace the goblin with Beetlejuice, things aren't going to go well for the solar system. Put it that way. I mean, it's pulled the whole solar system inwards. It's taken all of the objects away from the sun and just shot them all out in a crazy um, show of fireworks, pretty much. And and it's destroyed some of the objects. Some of them are still orbiting as well. We put the more further out objects. So the inner solar system we can't really get much results for. But I'm pretty sure the logical uh, thing would be for them. They'd still orbit the sun because if you um, if we head to the sun, all of the objects which are closer than Jupiter and Jupiter itself, all of those guys are still orbiting the sun. So I'm pretty sure if Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars were in here, actually maybe not Mars because Mars did get pulled out, but I'm pretty sure Mercury and Venus at least, if they were still here, I reckon they'd be orbiting the sun fine because I still think the sun has a big enough presence for them to orbit the sun. But yeah, it's just annoying we can't get them close enough to Beetlejuice without taking forever because the only way to get them closer to each other at that distance is to run it, to run the simulation fast. But we can't do that because it just shoots them all the way out and yeah, for no reason. So yeah, the game just can't run it quick enough, um, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm pretty sure those guys would still be orbiting the sun because I mean Jupiter, the asteroid belt objects are. I'm pretty sure it would be logical that they would orbit as well. But um, yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what happens. If you replace the goblin, which is the furthest object in the solar system in the simulations I have, with Beetlejuice. And yep, yeah, like I said, here are your results. So if I was to describe this, I'd just say total chaos because that has just completely destroyed the system, as you can see. So yeah, poor solar system, basically. That is... Um, that's a big wreck, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty cool seeing them all shoot each other around with the trail mode. I mean, look at the sun go with all the objects orbiting the sun as well. I mean, look at them go. They're going like nuts. But yeah, there we are. So it looks like a few more of the objects have disappeared, but it's still got the asteroid belt objects there. But it looks like a few more got tossed out, but we were running it really quickly, so who knows. But yeah, there are your results. So either way, 
the objects are going to get tossed out. So, yeah, there you go, guys. But, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we go for 40 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers now. And also, a massive thank you for 8,000 subscribers. Again, it's really, really cool. And, yeah, I have to try and get a special video arranged for that, for the um, 8K special. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can yeah, get that done soon. But, yeah, guys. Really, really cool stuff, and yeah, and let me know if you what if you got any more ideas for what if videos, or if you want to see another episode in this sort of mini series we're doing with replacing objects with stars. Let me know down below. Um, but yeah, if you got any more ideas, yeah, like I said, anything at all, any what if videos, let me know because I've got to pre-record a lot of videos for when I go on holiday soon, so I can do some shorter ideas, just like maybe even colliding two objects. And a few people have wanted those, so if you want to see those, I can record those and hopefully have them out in July. Because I've got a lot of pre record to do. So doing those little videos will be good um, stuff for while I'm away. Uh, when I'm away. So yeah, hopefully um, I can get those done. But yeah, enough of me rambling on. I'm never very good with outros. But yeah, that is it, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.